Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here, bringing you another Asheron Skull gameplay video. Today I'm going to be upgrading my Sword of Lost Light into a Sword of Lost Hope. And in order to do that, you have to create a Sepulcher of the Hope Slayer portal gem. So there's three quests that you have to do, which actually requires at least two people because you need to be uh, on two sides of a dungeon to do them. And then you combine the three items and hand it over to a Chosen of Asheron. So I'm near the one in Zykel, but there are three Chosen of Asheron in the game. I think they're in the, the capital cities of Craigstone, Hebe, and Toe, and Zykel. And they will give you a Sepulcher of the Hope Slayer portal gem. The path to Caldarum's Ward. We'll create a portal to the Sepulcher, Sepulcher of the Hope Slayer. All right, cool. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use the portal gem. We're going to pop in. All right, so you'll be portal into a safe drop. There's a surface portal. You really want to be careful not to go in the surface portal. Because if you go out, you're going to have to make a whole new portal gem again. It's actually a pretty cool looking surface portal. All right, there's going to be three doors in front of you. You're going to need to lock pick any of the doors, but the Side doors have blight traps, so one's stamina, one's mana. You're going to want to ignore those and go down the middle path. There is a lever in the center of the room. This actually looks a lot like this dungeon from the Ithank Quiddity Seed quest. You're going to use this, and then you're going to have to be as quick as possible. Go ahead, especially if you're soloing. If you're not soloing, you can leave some people behind. I actually think this is the same dungeon as the Ithank Seed Quest. Except instead of ending here, this there's a door here that you can go through. That's kind of funny. Alright, so you're going to make your way down the left side. It's the exact same button from the Ithank Quiddity Seed Quest. Which makes sense because that quest is like a memory. So it makes sense that it would be the same dungeon. That should open both of these doors. And then you can jump down into the pit, which again, same pit as the Ithank Quiddity Seed quest. You'll see a shadow of Black Pharah. It's a very small looking shadow for some reason. Four thirty-three. As Black Pharaoh falls, you hear a cold, contemptuous voice declare, Do with the blood as you will, Outlander. My true form stays close to my master who you cannot kill. I thought Black Pharaoh dropped something. Oh, the blood is on the... Okay, so the blood is just here. I guess you don't have, you have to kill Black Pharaoh. Alright, that's it. Yeah, so you just loot the blood off of... Here it's a 20 hour timer. You could turn it in for 15 million experience. Or if you have a Sword of Lost Light, after you have added the other fire infusions from the Hellfires, which I've already added all three to this, you can apply it to the sword to get a Sword of Lost Hope. You apply the Hope Slayer's blood to the sword's blade and it warps and darkens. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Yeah, it's got this cool blood particle effect. I like it a lot. I don't think it's that good. I think it added crushing blow to the sword. Uh, moderate heavy weapon aptitude, so it's not going to be the best sword, but it's pretty cool looking. Maybe I'll tailor it or I don't know, just keep it the way it is for fun. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Bye.